Combat Les George Superfly. It's a it's an original design by Les George. He, he makes and manufactures them himself, but he distributes and retails all his knives through through Wilson Combat. It's the same place you would get a uh, if you wanted to get a StarTac Unumzan or StarTac Sabenza. Those are all distributed through Wilson Combat as well. But this is a uh, an original design Bally song by Les George. When I bought it, it was $431.96. They've since gone up on the website now, I noticed they're $479 now and 95 cents. But can I get a medium mocha latte with an extra turbo shot, please? It's hot. Hot. Thank you. Thank you. This Bally, it's it's not a lightweight. Overall, it's 10, 10 and 1 8 inches. Closed, it's 6 and 1 8 inches. The blade on this guy is 4 and 3 8 inches, and you're getting CTSX HP. So, it's, it's not a showpiece. He made this to be used. That blade is... Uh, is almost like purely utility if you ask me. It's made to be worked and used. I don't cut too, too much of anything with my ballys in general. I typically, I'll carry a folder for that. I mean, I'm into folders just as much as ballys, so typically I'll have a folder or two on me anyway. But this is weighing in at 5.9 ounces. That's, that's with a latch and with a clip on it. It does come with a latch and a clip. .49, just under, just under half an inch thick. Block spacers. I've had this Bally probably like, I want to say three months now, and it is aging like a fine wine. This thing could, this thing could damn near survive a nuclear holocaust. It runs on caged bearings. When I first got it, it had a clip and a latch on it, and the bearings were, they are incredibly smooth, but the pivots were a little bit too tight when I had first gotten the Bally. And so, you know, after due diligence and giving it a good tune, there is not a single tiniest bit of even forcible flex flexing handle play. And I have not touched the pivots once in the whole time I've had this knife. And it gets the shit flipped out of it. This, is, this has gotten EDC'd every single day since I've had it. Now, I'm gonna say that when it has the latch and it has the clip on it, it has like a, a gross handle bias. And if you get this Bally, I highly, highly recommend removing those. The, the clip, see, the, into those two holes there, it has two separate screws holding the pocket clip in. It doesn't use the, like, the spacer body screws, so that's like an extra two screws worth of added weight. And between that, and the latch, you're losing like almost half an ounce by ditching those. And after you lose those, your balance vastly, vastly improves. It's, I want to say it's very similar balance to, to like a tie bass R or, or a Rhapsody without the clip and without your latch on it. And of course, no play whatsoever. Glass smooth. 
I'm not mistaken, this is a limited run. It's a serialized limited run of 100, if I'm not mistaken. Mine is number 60. I asked for number 50, but they got me pretty close. Can't really complain. I've followed this knife since since uh, Les George had prototyped it. It had a bit of a following on blade forums when he was prototyping it. They had he uh, had a thread, and I guess one of his buddies started a thread about it, and there were prototypes of it. And that was that was almost eight months ago, and I had followed it ever since then, and bought it like two days after it dropped. And it's been in my top rotation every single day top flipping rotation too especially since I ditched the clip and the latch I have a I have a hat and leather sheath so I'm pretty picky with clips a lot of clips I don't like there are very few clips that I do like on my last video I had a couple guys ask me to do a full collection video which isn't gonna be this video I'll do that on a, another video I wanted to do this video on the, the Superfly because I don't really see a lot about this knife and I feel it's very, very underrated. So I wanted to put put some information out there about it at least, but we can take a, a good look. I have a couple other, you know, CCCs and other junky valleys that aren't even worth mentioning. But the Superfly actually flips very good. I do highly, highly recommend removing the latch and clip because it really does improve the balance and totally transforms the knife. Again, literally no forcible play whatsoever. It actually fans just fine too. The, like I said before, about the same balance as what a, a Thai Bass R would have. But other than that, if you have an opportunity to get one of these, I do highly recommend it. I don't see a lot of people buying them, and I know they are still in stock. The price did go up since I bought it, but they are still in stock from what I saw when I checked earlier today. On my next video, though, I got coming real real special piece I just got this like a few days ago J Lion Hellcat custom mid tech whatever you want to call it I just want to get past that initial honeymoon phase and then I'm gonna do a video on this too but if you guys like you guys like these videos want me to keep making them let me know point out a knife you want me to you want me to do next? I'll make it happen.